Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Westest Kent and a place I've been to many, many, many times. I brought you to the town of Westerham, which is almost on the Kent Surrey border. Uh, we've been here, yeah, we've been coming here since about 1990, I think, something like that. Of course, Chartwell's up the road, the uh, home of Churchill, which is another video I'll link below. But yeah, we're gonna have a little wander around. Um, yeah, it's nice to be back. We're on the village green at the moment. Have a look in the church. It's a gloriously hot day. Fantastic, let's go. Oh, a very loud motorbike. You've got the busy A25 going through the town. Uh, this is one of the most prominent towns on the A25. Um, What's interesting, I think I've actually now done all the villages pretty much along the A25 from Guildford down to near Seven Oaks. I haven't done Amager Hammer or Gomshaw because why do they have to be so loud motorbikes? Tell me if you're a motorcyclist, why have they got to be so loud? Um, but yeah, apart from a couple of villages, I think I've done pretty much all of them. Amager Hammer and Gomshaw, um, I think they're, they're very pretty, but they're just not much there to see um, or record. But yeah. Lovely. Let's go have a little walk around. The King's Arms, circa 1700. We're going in there for lunch later, uh, which will be nice. Go have a pub lunch, haven't we? Go have a pub lunch. Also, I do want to get the big camera out as I'm walking around a town. I want to be a bit more inconspicuous. I'm on the GoPro, the GoPro 8. A little bit of wind, but I've got a little wind muff on. Um, Nisi local. Fantastic. Oh, lovely views uh, over to the North Downs. The Doomsday Mosaic, where's that then? a lovely little lane full of these old cottages it's a bit quieter as well away from the um, away from the, the traffic it's lovely around 31 years ago back in 1991 um, I filmed a very amateur uh, spoof on a well-known TV time traveler and uh, we shot a lot of scenes in Westerham. Um, I hope I can include a few clips here. Placement locator. It's hopefully going to trace the energy emissions back to their source. Boom. Boom. I mean, one, I think the first shoot we did in Westerham with Mark and Liz was. Um, I think we were here about eight o'clock in the morning on a Sunday morning and there was no one around. We got them walking in the middle of the road. It had to be a deserted village. Uh, and I think we achieved that a little bit on our limited budget, no budget. But yeah, we, we did a nice little scene down here. Um, 31 years ago. Gosh. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an absolutely lovely little, little road, this. There's some great walks around here as well. Me and Al did a great walk around uh, the perimeter of Westerham back in 2015. I'll link that below as well. That's more just a visual guide around the area. 
let's go and have a look at the church. Oh yeah, we shot a scene with Liz and Mark along this um, little alleyway. Not a soul. What do you think's happened to everyone? Maybe they're having a lay-in. What, in the middle of the afternoon? Why not? Sometimes I sleep for months. What? This is where the walk started that me and Al did as well, that goes down, up, uh, around Westerham, up onto the hills and around. It's a really nice walk actually. But we're not doing that today because we're looking at the village. Lovely St Mary's Church, originally built in the 13th century with lots of additions since then. It's a beautiful, beautiful church uh, up high up on a hill. There's probably an ancient settlement on this site beforehand. You know what I'm gonna say now, yes, why are these places built where they were? Uh, but as you go round, there's a fantastic view of the North Downs, as you can see. There's a nice little church trail you can walk around the perimeter of the churchyard, which is really nice. It's a big churchyard actually, very big. And lovely views back up to the church itself. Let's see if it's open. It's great you've got the plaque, the Vicars of Westerham, going right back to 1278 up until 2015. Isn't that incredible? Of course, we're only recording this a few days after the Queen passed away. So it's a very solemn atmosphere in uh, the UK and abroad at the moment. I can't remember the last time I came in this church. must have been... 20 years ago. Some really old black brasses here, really old. Yeah, someone's mowing outside, you can tell because I'm filming. Someone's going to mow, mow the lawn, it's got to be done, I know. But... 1695. Go up to the pulpit. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel from a different angle this time. I love these little chapels that are sort of away from the main church for private prayer and um, contemplation. So I suppose if you know, you're not particularly religious like me, well, not religious, um, you can come in and just gather your thoughts, maybe do a meditation. Apparently this is a very early example of a spiral staircase from the 14th century. But, got to me, it doesn't look 14th century. I'm not arguing that it's not, but it doesn't look 14th century. Um, yeah. yeah, a fine example of a timber staircase ascribed to the late 14th century. So, what do I know? It doesn't look it. Records in Westerham, I think they've got records going back to the 9th century of this place. There's probably once again a settlement on this land beforehand because we're quite high up. Going back sort of, you know, Anglo-Saxon and even before that, go back into prehistory. So 
amazing view that amazing view it's great isn't it oh, oh it's hot remember we did a great scene here at this uh, memorial uh, with Mark playing that fictional character oh he tripped over just behind there <laughs> oh it all comes flooding back now I love this this is church cottage church cottage I wonder how old that is 1600s maybe it's been done up a bit but it's hard to tell sometimes when they've uh, given it a bit of a paint job so while we're in West Durham, I'm just going to go just outside the town and find something hopefully very interesting, which I didn't know was even there. Okay, so I've got a little bit of sound drop out on this video. The GoPro Hero 8 has really been playing up lately, but I've upgraded to the GoPro Hero 11 Black, uh, which is much better. Um, just wear and tear, really. So basically what I'm saying here is we're going down into the woods outside of West Durham, and we're looking for an old folly deep in the woods. Okay, according to this, we turn right here. Uh, yes, that looks that looks pretty good. Should we go that way? Yeah, I think so. I might have to give up on this one. I'm looking for the Hosey Hill Tower. It's an 18th century folly. Um, it should be just off this main trackway. Um, it's a pathway, part of sort of an, a trail, but. I can't find it anywhere, so um, we might have to give up. Nope, can't find it. It's apparently really hidden in the trees and in the woodland. A little 18th century folly. Ah, oh well. What can you do? I might come back here with Al, who uh, lives nearby, who's in the last video. He's been in many of my videos, and maybe we can uh, try and find it. Let's head back into Westrum, I've got a pub lunch. Let's go. Correction, everybody. Correction. I took the wrong route. It should be down here. Well, it's been a nice walk anyway, so um, I ain't complaining. Found it. Hosey Hill. 18th century folly. Oh, it's really impressive, actually. As I said, I didn't even know this was here until yesterday when I was filming this. Wow, just in the middle of nowhere. They did like their follies in the late 17th century and early 18th century, didn't they? Yeah, well, cool. Walk around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but lovely. Very impressed. Okay, the uh, machine's out of order. So, is it free parking? Oh well, we'll ask inside. Let's go. Show this quick library in King's Arms Hotel. It's fantastic. I'll speak very quickly because the uh, music's on. It's great, great library. So there you go. A nice little trip around Westerham great pub lunch in the King's Arms. I say we were here yeah about oh god 12 years ago for Al's 50, uh, 40th. Yeah oh my goodness. Um, really nice pub lovely guy thank you Georgie for serving us fantastic. 
So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff you do on YouTube, if you want. And we'll see you next time. Take care.